that is going to wrap it up for how to rebuild a 1970s rain light. Be very careful when mixing oil and electricity. And now for a question from a viewer just like you. This question is from April of Chaska. Hey Big Al, now that Halloween is soon approaching, I would like to let you know I do not celebrate Halloween, but I understand how the holiday works. Now that Halloween is soon approaching, I am concerned with the maintenance of my knockers. Do I need to tighten my knockers? Shall I lift or lower them? And will they need lubricating? Well, April, when it comes to knockers, what's most important is do you have a matching set? Does the front knocker match the rear knocker? Um, when the knocker is lifted, how fast does it fall? <gasps> Robbie, call Al Nelson. Calling Al Nelson. These are all things to take into consideration when maintaining your knocker. Al Nelson's Workshop, Superior Division. Hey Al, it's Ronaldo Quintessential, how are you? Guess what? I'm gonna have a Halloweener special. Wiener like penis. And I want you to be part of it. You should come and hang out with us and we can, you know what? We can do pumpkins and we can go ghost hunting and we can... No, Ronaldo, I do not celebrate Halloween. I will not be participating in your Halloweener special. What do you mean you don't celebrate Halloween, Al? Everybody Ronaldo, loves Halloween. No. Tell me why you don't do Halloween, Al. Come on, Al, tell me why. Why, Al? Come do Halloween with Ronaldo, us. Ronaldo, it's for personal reasons and I don't feel like sharing them with you right now. Okay, will you at least make me a pumpkin for the front yard because you make the best pumpkins ever in town? Ronaldo, I will not be making you Come a pumpkin. Come on, Al, it'll be just like the Christmas trees. Everyone loves them, but they say they're the best <laughs> decorations. I think his phone is broken. <laughs> Hey there, Blair. You sure scared me. I would love to come out and go for a walk with you right now, but I am on step number four of five of completing little baby Stanley's crib. Well, it is just about that time. That's going to be us next year. Well, I really want to see the challenge, Tell you what. Why don't I finish up step number four? I'll come on in and I'll get my costume on. You go for a walk around the block, find all the best jack-o'-lanterns, and we can go around and look at them together. <sighs> I love this holiday. I love you, Al. Not as much as I love you, my little China doll. Ronaldo, you want a pumpkin? I'll carve you a pumpkin, Ronaldo. Happy Halloween.
Welcome to the Ronaldo Quintessential Halloweener Special. I call it Halloweener instead of Halloween because it reminds people of wieners, you know, like penis. <laughs> anyway, it's that time of year with the pumpkins and make with the scary and the leaves are falling and the people like, you know, they eat the apples and the apple fritters. Ronaldo did not get any apple fritters this year, but that's okay. We have a very fun-filled, exciting Halloweener special for you. We are going to go ghost hunting. We're going to try to catch some ghosts, and we're going to maybe see if some of our friends want to come with. So, thank you for joining us. Spooky. <laughs> Horts was caught flying over the city on his broom. But he couldn't see the broomstick. There's ghosts! Okay, the pumpkins are all caught up and ready to go. They are now jack-o'-lanterns. So, we are gonna go do the ghost hunting. It's exciting. Okay, so there are many places that are haunted in Superior because it's so old. But we're gonna start out with one of the spookiest ones. The haunted fountain at Hammond Park. It eats people. We're gonna go to other places too, but I'm not gonna tell you until we get there. So, what we're gonna be using for the ghost hunting is the Sony Handycam. It's old, but it has night vision, and that's where you can see the ghosts moving around. They had to not sell these anymore and change the night vision because some people go to the beach and they put the night vision on and you can see the boobies. I don't like the boobies, so I don't care. But it's a really good camera and it's gonna work for the night vision to do the ghost hunting. So, okay, how do I look? My vest, my ghost shirt is orange, and my adventure hat with a light on it. Here we go. Okay, professional advice. When it's Halloween and the little demon crotch fruit are gonna be out trick-or-treating, always wanna hang a sign up. Otherwise, they're gonna do bad things to your house. When ghost hunting, only one piece of candy. Okay, you little crotch fruits. This should look great on the front stoop. Ronaldo. The new Fleet Farm circulars out. All right. Well, he's on foot. He couldn't have gotten far. And there's only so many haunted places in Superior. Okay. Here we are at the haunted fountain of Hammond Park. It said that back when this used to be a it filled it in for kids. The children were playing, and one time, one of the children's, they got sucked up in you, and all of their blood shot out right there. There was chunks and blood and hair flying everywhere. Look at it. And then when they got, I don't know, someone got lazy and they quit fixing it, so now they filled it up with the plants. It's pretty. Okay, don't get me wrong, it's very pretty, but it's, you know, Okay, I know I thought something on it. Look up by the slide. Where's his head? I gotta go. We are 
are out here at the haunted funeral parlor and cemetery. Oh, it's so scary. Look at those headstones. There's a coffin. If there's ghosts, they're definitely gonna be here. It's so bright. What is that? Oh my God, it's a skeleton. Oh, it's fake. Okay, it's plastic. It's cool. You did a good job. You scared Ronaldo. I go to the next one now. Okay, here we are. This one's super spooky. It's the Carnegie Library. Okay, it's been closed forever in six days. But this building is so old, they built it way back when Twin Ports used to babysit for the baby Jesus. <laughs> He's so old. Oh, scary. What's that in the window? Look at this building. It's beautiful, really. Look at that entryway. Oh, oh. See, whenever the camera does that, that's because there's a ghost somewhere. Look at the one over there. You just walk through. Oh, it's so scary. Anyway, it's the Carnegie Library, and I think the family got all their money from a deli, but I'm not sure. Look at this spooky up there. There's a woman looking out the window at me. She just waved. This, this window. Get a picture of the entrance. Oh, that's a big bush. A 1970s style bush. What is that? Oh my god, it's a pumpkin man again. Run everybody, a pumpkin man. Okay, here we are at a big ass church. Now, I'm not gonna say what religion it is because it doesn't matter. The ghosts don't care. Look at this place, it's so pretty. I'm so sorry I had to leave the Carnegie Deli in the park, but Ronaldo's getting chased by a pumpkin man. I don't know what he wants, but he's gonna ruin Ronaldo's Halloween or special, I'll tell you that much. But rumor has it, at this very church, 757 years ago, there was a bride and groom walking down the steps and she tripped and fell and her dress got caught probably somewhere right there but look at this church it's so pretty let's switch to nice shot for the ghost action ghost action there's ghosts in there look at it it's quasimodo oh my god Oh, make it so sad. There's pumpkin man. Ronaldo's so tired. I'm sorry, ghosts. I didn't mean to get anyone upset. That pumpkin man, he's ruining the Halloween special. They're always coming. They're always coming. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Oh, That was my bad knee, too. No, I got a kitchen to heat you up. I hope my camera's okay. You can't get these anymore because of the poops. Which key is it? Why do I have so many keys? I don't even have a car. Ronaldo's home and he needs to calm himself down. He's so scared. The door is locked, but the phone is gone dead. And you know what else is gone dead? My cell phone. You know what else is gone dead? My Robbie. So I'm here all by myself with those beat cats. And the pumpkin man, he's still out there. I know he is. So Ronaldo's gonna calm himself down with a special treat. He broke out. Absent. I'm gonna pour it over the sugar cubes and it's gonna dissolve it and drip over that ice cube. Okay, that's all Ronaldo needs. Then you get a lighter. You light.
excited. Okay. Look at it burn. And it's gonna burn the sugar into the the ice cube and it will drip down and melt the ice cube and then it'll be mixed with the water. You don't have to do this. It's just the fun way. Don't burn your house down or any shit like that, okay? Otherwise, this is, don't do this at home. Everybody blame Ronaldo because they're stupid. You're not stupid, but some people is stupid. But this is an absinthe. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let this burn out. I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'm gonna go lock myself in my chamber and I'm gonna read a book. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. How eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow from my books a cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terror never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more." Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. "'Sir,' said I, "'or oh, madam, truly your forgiveness I implore. The but already. the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping. And so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was whispered, word Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what there at is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least of essence made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. This the ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, though I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore, tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, 
though its answer little meaning, little relevance bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door. Bird or beast upon the sculpted bust above his chamber door with such name as Nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply, so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store. Caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster, till his song one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore, of never, nevermore. But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking, nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing, to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press. Ha! Ah, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfall tinkled and tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite in nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quote the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by that heaven that bends above us, by that God we both adore. Tell this soul with sorrow laden, if within the distant Aden, it shall clasp a sainted maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Clasp a rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore. Quote the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave thy loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quote the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. Happy Halloween, Ronaldo.